These are illegally refined crude oil loaded in various canons, apprehended by men of the Eastern Naval Command on their latest operation in the Niger Delta. According to the commander of the NNS Pathfinder, Commodo Williams Kayoda, the suspects on board MV Omisawa vessel were intercepted around the Taraba jetty while trying to transfer the illegal crude oil to their vessel. The Komodo said the arrest of the suspect and the badges came three days after the flag officer commanding Eastern Naval Command, where Admiral James Olawale deactivated Operation River Sweep 1 in Port Harcourt. My team at the NNS Pathfinder consolidated on the mandate of the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Ibot Ikwe Ibas, to continue the patrol and surveillance to sanitize this area. We have achieved a success within the last two days. We've arrested a vessel, MV Omisa One. We have we have just handed over to the EFCC. The badge we are standing on board now, and two of those Cotonou boats that are laden with AGU. Twelve arrested men were also handed over a while ago to the EFCC, and I've urged them to make sure that those men are properly profiled and prosecuted. The Navy boss further warned that the Navy under his watch would not condone illegality on the country's waterways whoever handed the suspect to the EFCC. A senior detective superintendent at the Port Harcourt office thereafter assured that the commission will carry out its investigation before prosecuting the suspect. We all have a joint or collective responsibility to ensure that we sanitize the maritime environment, especially the Niger Delta, to make business and commerce to thrive in our collective effort of nation building. So I'd like to, to state it emphatically that we will not tolerate any criminality within our waters. And any criminal must have a rethink of mind and ensure that he engage in legitimate business. The impounded vessel and two Kutonu boats were loaded with over 300,000 liters of illegal crude oil. This move, however, is applaudable as a sign that the Nigerian Navy is up to the task at ensuring safety on the nation's waterways.